The Mac Mini is one of the most affordable entry points into the whole macOS ecosystem. And if you already have a keyboard and a mouse and a monitor, the Mac Mini brings the rest. But if you want to expand it beyond the standard 8 gigs of RAM it comes with, Apple will let you do so, but you're going to have to pay when you check out. You could actually do it yourself and save yourself a considerable amount of money. All you need is the right tools, the correct memory, and a little bit of your time and patience. I'm Robert Rosenfeld from the Apple Circle, and here is how to upgrade the RAM in a 2018 Mac Mini. All right, so this process is a little bit more involved than your average RAM upgrade. You're gonna need a TR6 Torx screwdriver, a Torx T5, a Torx T10, tweezers, a spudger, and some kind of old credit card, an opener tool, or something flat to get inside of the Mac Mini. We got a whole kit from iFixit that includes pretty much everything. And you're also gonna to need to make sure you have the correct memory. You're gonna to wanna to make sure your RAM is DDR4 SODIMM compatible. I'll include links to everything you'll need down below on Amazon if you happen to not have it and just wanna pick it up for this video. So first we're gonna turn over the Mac Mini and we're gonna make sure those ports are facing us. So we should be able to read the Mac Mini text here. And we're gonna start by removing this plastic cover first. Should be pretty easy. We're gonna use our opener tool and just kind of pry around the edges to kind of pop this off of its retention clips. All right, so this plate is now loose. We can just let this come off and get this off to the side. All right, so now we're gonna use our Torx TR6 screwdriver to remove the six security screws. They are different lengths, so be sure to keep track of them accordingly. You don't wanna lose them. So with those screws removed, before we can actually remove this plate, we're going to need to unscrew the TR6 screw that secures the Wi-Fi antenna to the Mac Mini logic board. You're gonna to wanna to slowly move this panel to the side just enough to get access to where that screw is and unscrew it. Next, you're gonna to wanna to gently pry the antenna cable loose from the logic board. You can use a spudger or tweezers or anything small to lift and pop this thing loose. Just be careful, it's a very fragile cable. So without loose, we can just remove this entire plate and put it off to the side and continue to work our way inside the Mac Mini. All right, so next we're going to need to remove the exhaust. This is another four T6 screws. Two are gonna be facing you and two are actually facing the other way. So you may wanna flip around yourself on the table, get to the other end, unscrew those, and uh, we'll go from there. So with those unscrewed, we're going to lift the fan exhaust up. We're gonna bring it up just enough that we can get to the cable underneath. This is a very, again, another very fragile cable. So just be careful. You wanna get this thing up just enough so you can see the connector underneath. So we're just gonna use a spudger or tweezers to lift up and disconnect that fan cable from the logic board. One side is disconnected, just take this off to the side, put it off to the side, and we're getting closer. You'll need a tool to remove the LED indicator connector from the logic board. It's this small little connector. You can again use a spudger or tweezers to pop this up and disconnect it. Next, we're gonna break out that Torx T10 screwdriver and remove the two screws that actually connect the logic board to the Mac Mini case. So now that the logic board is loose from the case, we can actually remove the whole thing from this Mac Mini shell to actually get to the logic board itself and then get to the RAM. But before we do, we wanna move it just a bit to be able to disconnect the power supply cable from the logic board. All right, so now we're actually going to remove the logic board from this case. To do this, you're gonna use a little bit of force, put your hands underneath the exhaust and just kind of give a little force. It should push out and you can just remove the entire logic board from the case. And this is kind of the shell you're left with. This is your Mac Mini with just the power supply in and just kind of an empty shell. All right, so now comes the relatively easy part. We're gonna use our Torx T5 screwdriver to remove four screws over the security cage that is over the RAM on the Mac Mini Logic Board. We're gonna remove that and then actually just pop out the RAM and install the new ones as kind of normal as you would in other computers. All right, so with those T5 screws out, we can literally just lift off this metal cage, and we now have direct access to the RAM modules themselves. So you're gonna to wanna to use your fingers to spread these clips to the side and let the individual RAM modules pop out, and then we're gonna put our new RAM modules in their place. We're gonna just remove our RAM modules and stick them off to the side. And now replace them with 
our new 6 RAM. To install the RAM in the Mac Mini, you're simply going to start with the back module and insert your RAM straight down into the slot. You gotta kinda give it a little bit of force, so gently press that in there, then press it back towards the logic board itself. You'll hear the retention clips click in, and your Mac RAM should be secure. All right, so first part to putting this all back together is to just reinstall the security cage over the RAM, and then we'll go from there. All right, so with the security cage back on the RAM, we now just have to put the logic board back inside of the Mac Mini case. All right, so go ahead and make sure those clips on the side of the case are in and push that logic board inside of the case. You should hear a little bit of a snap. You should not be able to push anymore. And as long as the back is flush, you are good to go. Go ahead and re-secure the logic board to the case and then reattach the small LED light indicator back into its place and do the same for the power supply cable as well. All right, so next we have to reinsert the Mac Mini fan to the exhaust. We also have to make sure we connect it back to the logic board, this little connector here. So do that and then re-tighten those four screws to make sure the fan is securely connected to the exhaust. So we are almost done. One of the last things we need to do is reconnect the Wi-Fi antenna cable to the logic board. So put that back into its small little connector, then reinsert that security TR6 screw that secures it all in place into the logic board as well. So after the Wi-Fi antenna is connected and screwed into the logic board, you just wanna realign that plate and re-screw those six T6 screws to the case. Make sure the Mac Mini text on this black piece of plastic is facing you, and then press down, use a little bit of force to snap this thing back into place. All that's left to do now is to boot up our Mac and make sure our Mac sees the RAM and it is installed correctly. To do this, boot up your Mac, head to the Apple logo in the top left-hand corner of the screen, click on it and click About This Mac. You should see already, it should say the correct amount of RAM that you installed. In our case, it's gonna be 16 gigabytes. And if we pop over to the memory tab, we should see that the system recognizes our two eight gigabyte sticks. All right, guys, and that is it. Our Mac mini is good to go. If you guys enjoyed this video and wanna see more teardowns, tutorials, how to install, stuff like this, leave a comment down below and let us know. I am Robert Rosenfeld from the Apple Circle. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.